So as many of you may know, there are bosses on ECPE, and when you kill them, they give you some pretty good rewards. But there are also mini-bosses. And well, the only time I tried to fight one, they were bugged and I, I didn't actually get to fight it. So I figured in today's video, we're gonna try to fight some mini-bosses by ourselves and see if we can kill them. And these are gonna cost a small fortune, so it's, it's gonna be a lot for us to do. With that said, if you are not subscribed and you do enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. It would greatly help out the channel. Also, if you enjoy it, make sure you like the video. And with that said, let's go slay some bosses. Now we got a whole bunch of normies out here fighting the boss, but honestly, what's the point in fighting a boss when you can fight the mini boss by ourselves? So all you have to do, go to the wild, you do F manage, you go to faction shop, and from here you can buy the Cyclops mini boss, or you can buy the Medusa mini boss. Now I've only got 3 million, so I'm gonna have to sell some more things to be able to afford both of them, but for now, we can do one of these. Now I, th I think we're gonna start off with the Medusa, it costs less, so hopefully it's gonna be less OP. I'm not sure though. Anyways, I don't need 1.8 mil, so I should be able to afford one now. And there we go. We have acquired it. The Medusa mini boss egg. Anyways, I think it's about time. I'm gonna pre-gap. I don't know how sketchy this is gonna get. Um, Yeah, let's just place it and see what happens. This could be rip 1.8 mil. Oh. Okay, okay. Let's use our slime ball. Oh. Oh, this might be easy. We've already got it down a 15th of the way. Yo, these things are easier than I thought. I thought it'd be like a huge boss. This is just like a smaller version of one. Yeah, these things are terrible. What? This is so easy. Yeah, it's like almost... Oh my days, I'm almost dead. Oh, I'm gonna die to this. Okay, no, I was able to gap. I imagine I actually died of this thing. There we go. We, we killed it. And I got I got a forge note. That's it? Wait, so you're telling me I paid 1.8 mil for a forge note? No, no, no. There, there's got to be something at spawn, right? In, like, the mail? No? No, there's, there's no way. Surely I didn't just spend that much for a forge note. This thing won't even sell for like 200k. These things are the biggest scam ever. What? All right, you know what? I'm gonna sell one of my YouTube kits. Hopefully I can get some more money to afford these bosses. There we go, we sold it. And we got an offer for 3.5 mil as well. I guess I'll just put another up. I mean, this this is easy money. That can, then I can afford all the mini bosses I want. Now I'm gonna try to fight another mini boss right outside of our base. I'm not sure of how well this is gonna work. Now, hopefully by fighting this outsider base, it'll have less spaces to run so we can like see if it leaves something behind where it spawned. I don't know. It, it, there's no way just a forge note could come out of a mini boss, right? Anyways, I think it's time we fight this one. Maybe it'll give us better loot. I have no idea. I, I guess we might as well get started. Let's place it down. Hopefully this doesn't despawn or anything. And oh, oh my days. Yeah, it's it's right here. I, watch it give like the same loot, I swear. I'd, I'd actually be so mad. Honestly, though, these things are easy to kill. Like, the bosses are hard and all, but these mini bosses, they suck. I will say one thing though, they deal a lot to my armor. Just fighting the one brought me down to half of my armor durability, so I had to fix. Oh wait, this is a strategy. Oh, what? I think I might just found a way to, oh, there's no way. Wait, hold up. I, I gotta figure out a way to, like, kill these things super easy without taking any damage. How oh, wait, how is it hitting me? Okay, this this has gotta be the way. Yeah, you go like this and you just get all the crits in. Wait, I wonder, do you think I can heal this thing? Yeah, I just- <laughs> I gave it a health potion. And there we go, I guess we killed it. Well, what did we get? Please be- I swear, if this is a terrible kit, watch it be like a god kit. I'm gonna be so mad. These things are a scam. I- All that for Hades kit. The 2 million Hades kit. It's, a Hades kit is not worth that much. Alright, you know what? I get it. I've probably wasted already enough. I wonder if I can just get a dragon egg from one of these. Because, I'm gonna be honest, I'd rather have a dragon egg for 2 million coins than, than a Hades kit. So here goes another 1.4 million into it. Let's try to buy one more of these things. 
All right, there we go. We got we got the Medusa mini boss egg. If I could just get a normal dragon egg, that'd actually be so sick. All right, now if, I think this is how Minecraft works, right? If I if I place a torch, I place the egg up here. It should drop, right? All right, let's let's just test this. All right, no, it's not dropping. I gotta wait. Oh no! Wait, did I mine it? Where'd it go? Don't tell. I just lost the boss. Oh, it's okay. It's right there. Yes. Hello. You want to kill me or what? What's the plan here, buddy? Hey, yep. You want to kill me? I guess let's do this. Thankfully, yeah. The, the Medusa one has way less health. I don't know if that gives means it gives worse loot, but I, I forge over to Hades kit are pretty much the same. They both suck. I was hoping I get the dragon egg. It's fine though. I, I guess you can't get one on this server. Although, oh, what if I use Silk Touch? No, that, that wouldn't have made a difference. It's impossible to get Dragon Egg. This thing's about to die. Please, just give me something good. I've gotten scammed by two of you before, and... All that for a 10% forge note. Wow, wow, that's... <laughs> oh, no. All right, you know what? Life lesson, do not do many bosses. They, they're the biggest scam in the game, literally. I just wasted 5.4 million for two forge notes and a Hades kit. I could have gotten a G sword for that price. Like, the biggest, it's the biggest scam ever. All right, so rather than wasting the rest of my coins on more of those dumb mini bosses, I think I'm gonna spend some more coins for defending our base. Now, if you're not aware, the rabbit event did end, so now we've got an IG spawner here, and you might be asking, well, well where's the IGs? And well, they're actually right above us. So when I go up here, we've got a whole bunch of IGs. I think these are tier four, if I'm not mistaken. And pretty much what happens when they spawn in, they just slowly float down the water here. And I'm gonna speed this up because they're extremely slow, please. Yes, thank you. Anyways, yeah, they, they just float down the water all the way down into here. And once they make it in, they just start burning in the lava. And when they drop, their items will go right down into these hoppers below us. And from them, we get the iron. And this is fully AFK. I can just sit here in this for like, an entire hour and in the chest below us we'll just slowly start gaining iron now the issue with this is we made it right above our previous base so we don't really have much defense for this when i go to the outside of our base we only have like one or two layers defending this iron box and well i'm not gonna make all of these layers onto it but i'm gonna put a couple more anyways i've got a lot of zombie i'm gonna put another like two layers on here so let's do that quick oh we got someone at the base i've just been working on it and yeah we got someone over here only place the rest of my obby. Let's let's go check out. See what see what's up. This guy wants to. I guess he's setting up more defenses. And it looked like he was. So I'll I'll let him have at it. You know. You know what? You can have fun doing that. I've got more work on our actual base to do. All right, so I put one more layer on the top here. So now I've got two layers up here. And then also I filled this entire area with obby. Only half of the base was, so I figured I'd do the other half quick. Now I think I'm gonna put like one more layer on here just for extra defenses for our IGs. Alright, so I'm putting water over this base, and then I'm gonna put one more wall here, and then I've got something special to put on this area. Now, I wouldn't recommend using obsidian wall gens to make this short of a base, but I did buy a stack of these things because it's gonna save me a lot of time, but th it does cost a lot. It costs 1.3 million just for a stack of these things. I mean, look at how quickly it makes this process, though. So I've given some more defense to this spawner area. Hopefully that'll prevent people from raiding it some more. But now there's a special part I want to put on here. So for those of you not aware, you can buy enchanting tables from shop. And a lot of the other bases on ECPE do use this as a defense. So I figured, why not? We're gonna go buy some for our base. Hopefully it'll stop from some more attackers. Now this might cost a lot though, but I think it'll be worth it.
All right, so this is what we have for the defense so far. I'm not gonna be putting any more of these enchanting tables over here because it would take way too long and we just have walls in this area, so it doesn't really matter. But where the base actually is, I have put all these enchanting tables. I don't know if it actually helps with the defense or not, but I think it does to an extent. Also, it just looks really cool just looking at all these books and then when you get near them, they just all go like that. It's, it's kind of cool. So just after that, I got Xeon on and we decided to completely redo the interior of our base because it was meant for that rabbit event and once that was gone, having that IG spawner area, that box, it just looked really dumb. So we spent like a half hour to an hour and we just fully redid the base and now I'm gonna be honest, it looks really good. Anyways, so this is what we have for the base. So rather than having the entire area open, we decided to make part of the base like inside a rock cavern here. Now in these chests, we just have a whole bunch of different items we're storing. And well, there's not really too much out here, but if I go in the mine, this is where stuff gets good. So I I'm gonna be honest, I put a lot of effort into this area. It looks really nice. We try to make some sort of like mine shaft type design. And well, I really like it. So beyond these fences, we're not sure what we're gonna put in here, but we decided to put like a sign, caution, do not enter, and who knows, we could put anything in here. In this cave area, we have all of the IG drops and we're just slowly gaining them over time. And then on top of that, we got a secret area up there. Anyways, with that said, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope to see all of you in my next video. And please, don't buy the mini bosses. They're a scam.